This is Palisade State Park in South Dakota. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? You will be the last one to think So somewhere in South Dakota, it looks like the park is pretty busy. I see the electric posts. I haven't seen any sewer hookups. So it's a 50 amp. Somebody left on the 20 and the 30. Looks kind of like an ADA table. On the ground fire ring. And a robin. Is it a robin? Yeah, it's a robin. <laughs> so I am not seeing any water hookups here. I did see something for water further up. This might be a type of thing where you have to come and fill things up and bring it back to your campsite. You got some dumpsters and a few trash cans right here by the showers. drinking fountain is functional you're such a good water fountain pusher thank you lighting is one of my favorite things so it's pretty cool to see this light here solar power that shines down on these steps check out those steps made out of the local stone this is the shower and bathroom building here at Palisade State Park it's kind of neat plug in a little counter and another mirror so if you needed to do some, I don't know, hair trimming or something. They have blow dryers. They have heaters. And it looks like maybe an air conditioner. Maybe it doesn't feel super awesomely air conditioned. It's just a regular shower stall. And here is the ADA stall. They've got a single handheld shower head there. That hook's broken. Come around back behind the bathroom. There's a little sidewalk that leads up to the amphitheater slash learning center yes. Rawr. because he's yeah. it's because he's in his human form he's got the bare heels and the bed he's and the fluffy tip her name is Kaylin. and you're going to be demonstrating a, how do you use a camera all right so this is the amphitheater and learning center it's kind of neat they got two fire rings down here a table at the front along with the working yellow lights and a white screen there it's all in pretty good shape then you've got like some bleacher style seats here as well as some tables up at the back and it looks like 
a trail in the grass that goes up the hill. Oh, and there's also this hexagon shaped table over here. We got some swings, a couple of slides, some stuff to climb on, There's a park bench here to sit on. Night swing. There could be some swinging happening. <laughs> So you want to hear something interesting? Not only is there no sewer hookups, there's no water hookups. Only electric. 20, 30, and 50. It's probably because it's tough for them to maintain those water pipes in the freezing cold winters. So I saw something for water further back up. I think that they would have to, uh, I think that you would have to take big jugs and go fill up water and bring them back. Sounds like a pain. Yeah. A pain. So there's no water spigots at the campsites. Apparently this is where you have to come if you want to get some water for your campsite. It's going to be, uh, well, I guess if you had a hose, you could run it over and fill up your RV right here at this pull off. So this is what the cabins look like here at Palisade State Park. Got a little air conditioner in them. Got a uh, on the ground fire ring and grill over there, and then you got these cool decks. Got a picnic table, a couple of Adirondack chairs, as well as some benches right there. And the doors are all locked up, so I won't be able to show you the inside. I want to say I've seen some of these when I was a teenager, and it's like, like a large bunk, small bunk, and maybe a table inside. And they're heated and air conditioned. From the cabin, I can see the water on the river through here. I'm not sure if you can see it. You need if there was some kind of trail right here that went down there. Probably some kind of official, unofficial trail. So there is a good amount of day use area around here. And in the day use area, you can find some grills, some on the ground fire pits. There's some picnic tables. There's dumpsters throughout. You can see some dumpsters over there and a few sporadic single-use bathrooms. And I thought this was a pretty nice volleyball net that they have set up here. And the water, the cliffs are basically right over here. It drops down and the water's down in there. Down here at the end of the day use area, have this nice picnic area. Got a barbecue pit. There's an on-the-ground fire ring over here and that nice stone fire pit looks great and as we're kind of coming down the hill you can see the water over here I've got a lot of history with this park I grew up in this area and I recall going to this park like with school field trips with other family members and then when I was in my high school years my friends and I used to come out here and go camping and hiking and climbing on the rocks and get in the water a lot of history here so you can come down you'll have to walk down from the parking lot but this is day use area that goes all the way down it's nice and mowed well taken care of picnic tables and then you can be right here by the wall And the truth.